Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here today, we would like to thank you for the blessing of learning. May each graduate feel proud and enjoy their success. Give grace and courage to the ones who have worked hard and now greet this special time of graduation. We would like to thank you for protecting and guiding them to this point. Most importantly, help them as they face unknown challenges. A chapter is closed and we eagerly await the next chapter that opens. Amen. everybody i just want to start off by saying thank you to all my teachers that i've had throughout my junior high years you guys have taught me so much throughout these years it has been fun i miss being at school with all of you and having fun i have had a lot of good memories here at Odin school i have had a lot of and met a lot of good friends and i have had a lot of good accomplishments at this school that i'm very proud of i have never really thought about doing half of the things that i've done but my friends and family have helped me with those accomplishments my mom especially pushes me to be my best and do my very best so i'm grateful that i have her here by my side to help me my teachers have also helped me do my very best at my schoolwork. i'm very appreciative of all the people that have helped me or supported me to get where i'm at now there have been some really good times here at own school that i will never forget there were sad times too but we had each other to get through it together i like my class because we're all like family yeah we might fight and get mad at each other but at the end of the day we are all still family we make a lot of good memories and have very good times in every class we have some teachers get mad but it's just because we love them so we do that I wish there was no such thing as this virus so that way we could have finished our 8th grade year outright, but it's okay. I just thought I would never say this, but I actually miss being at school and seeing my friends every day. I wish we could just go back one more day so we can see this, so we can see everybody and just I hope that everybody is doing good with this virus going around. And I hope everybody is staying healthy. I miss having funny conversations with my fam, with my teachers in every class. There was never a dull moment with my class and that's what I miss the most. I also miss us sitting at the lunch table every day and having laugh attacks. Miss Coleman's class would be right after and it would be so funny because we just couldn't stop laughing. We all can't wait for high school. Some of us are scared, but all we just, we just got, we can do it. We can get through it together. And I love all of y'all very much. And I'm proud that I got to be the salutatorian of the eighth grade class this year. And I hope everybody has some great years in high school. Love y'all. On behalf of the eighth grade class of 2020, I'd like to welcome everyone to our graduation. Mr. Humes, Mr. Ally, members of the Board of Education, faculty, family, and friends. Thank you for being with us to celebrate this day. We couldn't have made it to this point without you. To our teachers, I'm sure this is not how you picture our year ending. We were the first fifth grade class that began junior high. We weren't always ready, but somehow with your help, we made it. So the craziness of this being our graduation seems fitting. Thank you for everything you have done to help mold us during our grade school years and everything you will do for us in high school as well. To our parents, where do I start? Without you supporting and pushing us, we couldn't have ever gotten to this moment. I would like to say a special thanks to my mom. Not only have you stepped into a teacher position, you've always been behind us even when we didn't make it easy. I love you. To my classmates, we did it. Who would have thought our eighth grade year would end like this? A crazy virus that kept us from school. E-learning and not spending our last days of junior high together makes for a time we won't forget. I'm proud of you all. As we enter high school, some of us might go different directions, but we'll always be a family. I wish all of you the best through high school and beyond. Enjoy your summer, and I can't wait to begin making new memories with you. Congratulations, eighth grade. Let's make the next four years amazing. So thank you and welcome to the 2020 Odin Junior High School graduation. My name is Jeff Humes and on behalf of Odin Public School, I want to welcome you guys all to our 2020 eighth grade graduation. 
It has been my privilege to work with this fine group of students over the past year. I'm very proud of them, and we have many things planned today to try to recognize their accomplishments. And we want to remember their years at Odin Public School. Well, we've reached that point in the ceremony where you've heard the kids talk, and now you're probably getting a little uneasy in your chair and tired of sitting there listening to the speeches and so forth, but you're in an air-conditioned home most likely, you're not in this hot gym, so let's settle in and I will try to provide some words of wisdom. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to take something away uh, from this ceremony. As I sat down to write this, this uh, ceremony's remarks, I thought back to my uh, own graduation ceremony in an attempt to remember the words that my principal spoke to us some 30 some years ago, give or take a few years. And uh, I couldn't remember anything. So either I wasn't paying attention, which is kind of possible, or I was thinking about the graduation party that my family was planning, or maybe both. So I hope you're able to remember a few things that I say today. And uh, I hope that uh, if you don't, and you don't remember, I hope that uh, you will at least take something away that you can use today, and I definitely understand. Uh, before I get into these words of wisdom, though, I want my eighth graders to know a few things. Um, I want you to know how incredibly proud I am of you guys. Uh, number two, I want you to know how much faith I have in each of you. Uh, the personalities, the character, the moral fiber, the decision-making, abilities that you each possess, they give you uh, a limitless uh, possibilities. Um, so follow those beliefs and those values that you currently have, and you will be successful. Um, my remarks tonight center on that third point and following your own beliefs. Following the pack doesn't always ensure success. So peer pressure often comes into play, so that's not the answer. So be your own person, because you are of high quality, and the longer I live, the more deeply I'm convinced that the difference between successful people and those that, you know, don't quite make it, um, is also the difference between being strong and weak. It's the decision that you each will make. So when you follow another's lead, you need to remember to think for yourself along the way. So you need to hope that whoever you're following agrees with those same things that you believe in. To drive this point home, I'm going to use um, a quote by Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Um, I tend to, you, you might get one of these, I'm hoping I can get them out to you because our diplomas are a little messed up right now and we're trying to make sure we can get them out to you. So uh, however that process ends up, I usually put a copy of this quote in your uh, diploma or it'll be in the things that you pick up. So I, you know, when I look at that, I think it's something that you can take with you. Um, my uh, mom gave it to me when I graduated and I hang it on my, my wall in my office. And so I don't forget uh, those thoughts from Mother Teresa, okay? So this quote, just, if you can't remember anything that I said today, make sure that you use the words that, that come along with this quote. I've taken this with me to college, I've taken it just about everywhere, it's always with me, and, uh, and it's good words to live by. Live by. So, Keeping all that in mind, let's remember that this old superintendent, when you look back on your life, hopes that you will follow this lead. So Mother Teresa said, people are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. So forgive them anyway. If you're kind, people may accuse you of being selfish or having an ulterior motive. Just be kind anyway. If you're successful, you're gonna win some friends, you're gonna win some false friends, and you're gonna win some true enemies. But succeed anyway. 
if you're honest and you're frank, people may, they may try to cheat you, but still be honest anyway. You know, what you spend years building and, and trying to make the most of, someone will come along and they're going to try to destroy it overnight. But you need to build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, people may be jealous, but you need to still be happy anyway. The good you do today will often be forgotten tomorrow, but do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough, but give the best that you have anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it's all between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. This group, I'm proud to say, does think for themselves. They are a interesting group of students. They have a lot of personality and there are times that they will push their limits, but that's, that's what makes them unique and I love this class for that. This group, I'm proud to say, will think for themselves. So parents, you are to be commended for this because a lot of those things come from home. The, this group is capable of acting on their own behalf and this is a credit to the parents or the grandparents or the guardians that are here tonight. Ann Lander's first uh, role of said her first role of raising a child is this. It is not what you do for your children, but what you have to, what you have taught them to do for themselves that makes them a successful human being. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to work with your sons and daughters over the past year. And thank you to the teachers who have worked so closely with each of our students and they have become outstanding young adults. So I would also like to thank our school board for being there in a supportive role this year as well. On behalf of Odin Public School, its Board of Education, the Regional Office of Education, and the power vested in me, I present to you the Odin Grade School graduating class of 2020. In closing, I would like to thank everyone for uh, for your patience during this pandemic. Um, we will get through this and I look forward to seeing you all back in high school this fall. As I conclude, I want to say one more time how much I enjoy this group and these students and how proud I am of each one. Mr. Ally, make it official. I certify that these candidates have met the criteria for graduation as set forth by the state of Illinois and the Odin Board of Education. Lane Daniel Arnold. Tylan Matthew Ayers. Brendan James Bivens. Audrey Grace Clark. Jersey Cheyenne Johnson. Mackenzie K. Kretzer. TJ James Meredith. Derek Andrew Murley. Joseph Ian Murley.
Violet Brianna Nicole Potter. Aslan Mary Elizabeth Pratt. Ethan Dalton Sanders. Doriana Raylan Scott. Michaela May Starr. JC Ray Vaughn. Amaya Shante Marie Wallace. JC Lynn Wilkins. Brandon James Williams. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to give one final thank you to the faculty and staff at Odin Junior High, along with family and friends. Without your love and dedication, we wouldn't be here today. To my fellow graduates, congratulations, and thank you for all the memories we had. This concludes the ceremony, and thank you for watching. speeches are long anyway. Okay, here we go. Junior high graduation, one word off. take number 445. Okay. I'll do it my job better. I'm sorry. That's okay. Notice. It's a team thing. Notice. I'll get it right. Prompt. All right, Jeff Humes, graduating speech, take number 444. We've been here for five days. This is crazy. And uh, remember, <laughs> okay, we're going to start over. <laughs> here we go. Hello and good afternoon. No, it's not the afternoon. Take number 5002. 5023. All right. All right. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Oh, wait a minute. This would be morning. Let's start over. Take 5004. Right. It's fun to mess up in the beginning because you just doesn't hear me start all over. Okay. Okay. Hello and good evening. Ah, did it again. Cross out. You know what we could do? We a lot of pressure. I know. It's pressure. My graduation take number four forty-seven. Yeah. Are we having fun yet? I, I really miss these kids because we, if they were here right now, they would be cheering me on and supporting me. Yeah, they would. It's really quiet. In here.